Hello there, I'm Black Bright on your screens again. You have to look at my little mush again. Um, yeah, I wanted to just talk, give you my views about this Christmas party at Downing Street. It would be remiss of me not to. So if it's the first time you're passing by, I'm Black Bright. You can um, subscribe, you can like, you can comment. Existing subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing and yeah I just talk about news and I give my views and that kind of thing. Now we're talking about Downing Street Party. Why the hype? Why is it coming out now just before Christmas? Do they want us all to react and say yeah we, if they can have a party we can have a party too? Is that the reason they're coming out with this? And so everybody rebels, everybody um, ignores all the rules and then they can come down with full force on the whole of us because remember there's one rule for one and there's another rule for another there's one rule for the rich and there's another rule for the poor there's one rule for the elite and there's another rule for the browns so we have to kind of take that into consideration and ask ourselves why is this information being released now at this particular time. Now, the, f the first party that Downing Street had was on the 27th of November. The second one they had was on the 18th of December. The same time when that Ilford posse was being, you know, that Ilford posse got all prosecuted for having their party. The, the prosecution is going on now. So in light of this, that the party that Downing Street had, which had, I think, between 40 and 50 people and carries a £10,000 fine, technically, are they going to either retrospectively prosecute Downing Street or are they going to let the Ilford posse and the other 14, um, the other 14 prosecutions, are they going to let them off? I mean, you can't, you can't have both. You have to treat everybody the same. But we know they don't treat everyone the same, do they? This is not the land of equality. This is the land of the ruler and the ruled. So, will that happen? I doubt it. But it should happen. You know, how can the courts now fine these people or prosecute the people who held the party in Ilford and let off down the street? They'd have to have no conscience at all if they did that. They're going to have to waive it and say, look, we'll let you off with a warning in light of recent disclosures about Downing Street. Now, the thing with Downing Street is that because it's hearsay, technically hearsay, the um, information was provided anonymously. They can actually say hearsay is not it's not admissible in court. That's what they can say. They have that loophole. So. Yeah, there's no hard evidence. And the only evidence we have is what they kind of put their foot in it themselves and let us know, well, we're not allowed to say it's a party. It was a business meeting. So they've kind of put their foot in it. And I don't think some of them can openly lie on TV. So they've kind of minimised it, put it that way. But the fact of the matter is... It does seem to have happened, and if it did happen, we need to know that everybody across the board is being treated fairly. Because remember, on the 18th of December, we were in Tier 3, and Tier 3 meant no social, um, no social partying at all. It was all about social distancing. And so, you know, they can't even get away with it, to be honest. They just might as well just own up fess up and just say, look, we did it. And probably that is why Boris Johnson told us the other day, oh, you know, you don't have to cancel your Christmas parties. You don't have to cancel your nativity plays because they know they was having a party. And they wanted to have that party. You know, so they're giving us permission to have a party this year so they can have theirs. That's the only bloody reason. But the only difference between them and us is that we face the consequences in the new year if they say, oh, because you all have got together with your parties, you now 
we've got now this increase of the Omicron variant and you now have to be locked down. That's the only difference because with the rich, with the green, they don't have to abide by those rules. They make out like they're abiding by the rules in public. But, you know, we know that they all get caught out. Dominic Raab got caught out. A load of them get caught out. And it's only when they get caught out and it's because they believe they're above the law. But the lower people cannot be above the law because we've got no one to protect us. We haven't got money to protect us. We haven't got prestige to protect us. But they do. So they just, you know, do you think the police is going to turn up at Boris Johnson's house at Downing Street and say, oh, look, you're having a party. We're going to prosecute you. And because you've got 45 to 50 people in it, it's good, you're going to be fined £10,000. Even if they did, we'd be paying that fine. They wouldn't be paying it out of their pocket. Anyway, also, they could also say that, you know, I think one of the regulations under the tier three was that you could um, only socialise, you could only get together in your place of work. Now, Downing Street technically could be considered a place of work. And under Section 73 of the coronavirus, I think it's the coronavirus law. Where is it now? Section 73 of the Public Health Control of Diseases Act, 1984. It provides exemptions for government buildings. So if Downing Street is a government building, they're actually exempt. So there's nothing we can do about it. They know what they can get away with. They're not silly. So we can jump up all we like, make a fuss about it. It doesn't mean squat. They can do what they like. They're government officials. They have diplomatic immunity, for Christ's sake. Technically, they do. So all they do is get a little hand on the wrist, so you can tell them to resign all their life. They ain't resigning. They've done nothing wrong as far as they're concerned. They've done things the right way. We had a business meeting. We was all socially distancing. The house is big enough, isn't it? There's no hard evidence to say that we were having a party. We were in a government building. And we was in a place of work. The fact that we decided to put on some music and enjoy a little... Um, class a bubbly while we were having our meeting that's neither here nor there you were socially distancing the building was ventilated <laughs> they'll have all the answers don't worry they'll have all the answers so um we do know that the police have retrospective powers to prosecute so will they be prosecuting retrospectively, for what they did last year. And like I said, doubt it very much. But the only thing I would like to see is the Orford Posse and all those other people who were prosecuted for having a party on the 18th of December, I hope they get off. They should get off in light of this new information. That's the only thing I'm saying. So um, what else did I want to say? Yeah, like I said, you know, don't react. It's just news. I mean, a lot of things going around. I mean, people pay light of it. But, you know, I think the serious part of it is that a lot of people, millions of people were deprived of seeing their loved ones over Christmas. And the elderly were left alone over Christmas. That's the serious part of all of this. While they probably got to see their loved ones, all their loved ones are probably in the same house. And the limitations that we have, where maybe our parents are in a different town, we couldn't even get to see them. And plus, we were told to isolate and keep them um, separate. So all of those all of those people who made that sacrifice last year, you know, they are going to feel very bitter by the fact that Boris Johnson and his posse didn't take it seriously and thought that they were above the law or know that they're above the law so they can get away with it. So, 
So far, everything I've said has come true so far. So we'll see. We'll see what happens in January. We'll see if we'll have this miraculous increase of um, cases because everybody had a Christmas party. Or we'll see if things remain the same way they are now. So all I'm saying is it's supposed to be investigated at the moment. I don't know who's in charge. Probably take weeks or even years to come to a conclusion anyway. By that time, everyone would have forgotten about it. And um, yeah, and it probably be mitigated by the fact that Boris Johnson has said you can have Christmas parties this year if you're going to have one. And that's all for now. Bye bye.